Good morning, Gators. Today's breakfast biography is the amazing Arctic explorer, Matthew Henson. Matthew Henson was born in 1866 on a farm in Maryland. When he was young, both of his parents died. He left his home to find work on a ship. Years later, he became the first African-American to reach the North Pole. Here's an image of Matthew Henson as he explored the Arctic with Robert Peary. Matthew was only 12 when he went to sea. He cleaned cabins and helped the cook. The captain taught Matthew how to read and write. He even taught him how to navigate using stars. Then the ship captain died. Matthew went back to Washington, D.C., and he got a job in a store. This is an image of the shipyard that is similar to the one that Matthew Henson sailed out of. One day, Robert Peary came into the store. He was going to Central America to explore. The owner, store owner said Henson would be a good helper. For more than a year, Henson worked with Peary. Henson knew how to build things from wood. He could fix machines. He even helped plan where to put roads. Here's an image of Matthew Henson in the back, and he worked with Peary in Central America. Peary wanted to be the first man to get to the North Pole. He knew Henson was strong and smart. He asked him to join the crew of his ship. He knew Henson could do things that would be helpful on the journey. He asked Henson to join his crew. They boarded the ship and set sail for the cold Arctic. Here's a picture of Robert Peary on the deck of a ship. He was trying to reach the North Pole. The ship landed near an Inuit village. When the people saw Henson's dark skin, they thought he was Inuit too. Henson learned to speak their language. He became a good dog sled driver. He helped Peary make maps. Henson and Peary tried to reach the North Pole many times. Henson and Peary would not make it to the North Pole on this trip. They tried six more times, but storms and ice always stopped them. Finally, on April 6, 1909, Henson and Peary got to the North Pole. It had taken them 18 years to get there. Here's an image of Matthew Henson with a dog sled. Robert Peary became a famous man. Because Henson was African American, nobody talked about what he had done. It took many years before he was given any awards. Peary took a picture of Henson and four Inuit who reached the North Pole with him. Matthew Henson was 89 years old when he died on March 9, 1955. Today, he is remembered as one of the world's greatest explorers. He never gave up on his goal of reaching the North Pole. In 1942, Matthew Henson received a gold medal from the Geographic Society in Chicago. It was many years before Matthew Henson became famous. The U.S. Navy gave him a medal. A TV movie called Glory and Honor was made about him, and a postage stamp honored him. What do you think would be the west best way to honor him? Matthew Henson wrote a book about going to the North Pole. In it, he said, the lure of the Arctic is tugging at my heart. The word lure means something that pulls you toward it. What's your favorite <laughs> What place is your favorite place? Why do you like to go there? Here's a timeline. In 1866, Henson was born in Southern Maryland. He died in New York City in 1955. There are, are a set of words to know, like Arctic, Central America, explorer, Inuit, and navigate. There's also a page to learn more from books and the internet with an index at the back. If you're interested, I have several books about Matthew Henson that you could place on hold. I could check out and put out front for you to pick up. Have a great day, Gators.